So today we have to move forward with the acids and bases topic and today we'll do the reactions that they have. So acids and bases and the reactions that they have. Now we know the definition. We know acid will always give away the H positive. Base will always accept the H positive. That is how we categorize and that is how they work. Now the first reaction that we have is what if there is something that is more reactive than hydrogen. So all acids have hydrogen or that all acids give hydrogen ion somehow. So let's say there is an acid in which we have something that is more reactive than hydrogen. So that is a displacement reaction. In this reaction, anything will react with acid, but replace or displace the hydrogen ion. And that's obviously something that makes positive ion. Uh, which positive ion banati hai? Metal. Metals, excellent. So if an acid reacts with metal, and if metal is more reactive than hydrogen ion, if it's less reactive, then it won't be benefit. It has to be more reactive. So it will displace the hydrogen ion in there. So hydrogen will go away, which is hydrogen gas, and you will be left with salt. I'll give an example. Let's say I have HCl and I react with sodium. Now sodium is more reactive than hydrogen. Two things we will know from this. First, periodic table, mein, all the atoms with one electron in the last shell, hydrogen, then lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, francium. This group one. Hai. Hydrogen is on the side, but in this group, there is one electron in the last shell. And in all the last shell, there is one electron. Hai. So, you can see that potassium is more reactive than sodium. Sodium is more reactive than lithium. Lithium is more reactive than hydrogen. So, this is the sub hydrogen core displays. Kar sakte. And that's what will happen. They will simply take the place of hydrogen to NaCl ban jayega, and hydrogen gas by. We have seen this reaction. In the periodic table, we have seen this reaction. We have seen that if we have potassium, then we have sodium ko replace kar tha reaction. So, we have seen hydrogen ko displace kar acid Let's try one more. Let's say I have H2SO4. And I have a magnesium reaction. Magnesium is more reactive than hydrogen. So hydrogen gas by going And you will be left with magnesium sulfate. All that has happened is this hydrogen has been displaced. That's it. It's really that simple. Of course, you have to balance the equation. So this will 2. Ho jayega, ye bhi 2. This will 2. Ho Let's say you reacted with something that is less reactive than hydrogen. So, for example, I have HCl ko, uh, copper se reaction with copper. Nothing No reaction. Because copper is less reactive. Now, how do we know that which thing is more reactive and which thing is less reactive? Hai? For that, we have reactivity series. We will go through a lot of detail for reactivity series later on. 